when it comes to politics, you know, we don't have to agree, but let's just vote. And you are. Coloradans apparently love voting like we love green chili, great hikes, and hoping that every random quarterback that comes along will be the second coming of number seven. The earliest ballot return total show that Coloradans are turning in ballots at 24 times the rate of the last presidential election year in 2016. When I saw it, I looked twice, so I'll say it twice. 24 times the rate. Magellan Strategies, which does a lot of work polling for Republicans, says that Democrats have turned in more than double the number of ballots as Republicans. Again, they don't know how you voted. They just know if it comes back and you're a registered Democrat or registered Republican. Magellan says this is Democrats proving that they are confident in voting by mail as the president attacks that method. And Magellan said that every day that the gap is so enormous, it's obviously bad news for Republicans. So there are a few measures on the ballot that are designed to drive up conservative turnout this year. And our recent polling suggests that Proposition 115 to limit abortion rights could pass, unlike a number of other anti-abortion measures in Colorado in recent years. So we're doing this every night. Get your ballot ready. We're going through this item by item. Tonight, politics guy Marshall Zellinger outlines the arguments for and against 115. Proposition 115, this is the ballot issue dealing with abortion. A yes vote prohibits abortions after 22 weeks. An exception if an abortion after 22 weeks would immediately save the life of the pregnant woman. What's not an exception is if the abortion would be for psychological or emotional conditions. The physician performing the abortion after 22 weeks would be subject to a fine of $500 to $5,000, but no jail time. And there would be no crime for the woman receiving the abortion. A no vote does not change current law. An abortion would be legal at any point in the pregnancy. How often are pregnancies aborted after 22 weeks? The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment keeps abortion statistics based on what's reported to the state. Though the manager of the Vital Statistics Program told me, quote, we do acknowledge reporting of abortions in Colorado may be incomplete, evidence potentially in the 2019 numbers for abortions at 22 or more weeks. Last year, there were nearly 9,000 reported abortions. 136 were reported to CDPHE after 22 weeks. That was 1.5%. In 2018, out of nearly 9,000 reported abortions, 289, 3.2%, took place 22 weeks or later. And in 2017, out of almost 8,900 reported abortions, 260, or 2.9%, were after 22 weeks. Currently, 43 states have limits on abortions after a certain point of the pregnancy. Colorado is one of seven states without limits, joining Alaska, Oregon, New Mexico, New Jersey, Vermont, and New Hampshire. Those who want you to vote yes to prohibit abortions after 22 weeks say the fetus can live outside of the womb at that age or later. Those who want you to vote no say it has no exception for rape or incest or risk to the woman's health that is not immediate or a serious fetal abnormality. Three times in the last 12 years, Kyle, Colorado voters have rejected defining a fetus as a person, which has been a completely different question than what voters are facing today a restriction of abortion at a certain time. Yeah, this is a, a much more tailored restriction in terms of its of its impact. But striking to note, Marshall, that this one appears to have significantly more support, at least in the polling that we did, than those previous anti-abortion measures that got run out of the barn by immense margins, like 30, 40 percent. But what you showed in the number of ballots returned so far, if people's leanings, Democrat and unaffiliated that, that, that identify as Democrat, if that holds true, we may see similar results anyway. All right, Marshall Zellinger, thank you.